coax with it. And a little adapter. So when all is said and done, here are all the pieces. As you can see, it's uh, not rocket science, and it's uh, really easy to assemble this thing. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Um, I think, uh, <laughs> for time's sake, I'm not even going to videotape that because it's just basically uh, screwing all the pieces into it. And if you buy one of these, it's really easy to do. As you can see, this is really easy to do. All you got to do is screw off these and take off the nut there, and. Uh, Put it through there and just uh, screw it in. And there we have it. It's ready to be uh, mounted mounted on a mast, and you can adjust that over here. So uh, we're uh, we're all good to go. Since I will be uh, hooking up uh, my J-Pole uh, to my handheld, my FT60R, uh, as a uh, kind of a portable kind of setup, um, I needed to get a uh, PL259 to SMA adapter, and here's the SMA connection. And here you can see the uh, PL259. This one's about four feet long, and uh, this one is a uh, is pretty good because it takes the strain off the handheld. If you just connected the coax straight to the uh, the handheld, it uh, it could uh, put some strain on there and uh, it might break off or something like that. So I got this one instead. And um, as you can see, the connections here are the same for the uh, coax. So what I went ahead and got was also a uh, PL two five eight. A barrel connector in here that's going to be able to connect these two and then uh, that will this one will connect to the SO um, connection there at the antenna so uh, hopefully that'll be good um, I uh, think I made a mistake though I think I got too much coax so I don't know if that's going to be uh, working or not um, I got 50 feet and you know with a handheld and things like that uh, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of loss or what on that one but uh, since I'll probably be transmitting into town, it might not make such a big difference. But um, uh, I sh might have, I should have gotten some uh, shorter, shorter coax. But uh, you know, you live and you learn, and that's the whole point about ham radio. Uh, if I get a more uh, powerful rig, uh, I might be able to uh, use this uh, coax.